Hello everyone, welcome back again to me and in this video I would like to read some article again and before I start don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Traditionally, voting required that the identity of the people casting ballots can be known and verified to ensure that only eligible people vote and so only some blockchain system allow users to present a digital ID to prove their identity enabling voting with negligible energy usage. However, in most blockchain systems, users are anonymous and have no digital ID that can that can prove their identity. What then stops an individual from pretending pretending to be many individuals and casting many votes? There are several different approaches, but the most use is proof of work. In proof of work, users get votes based on the amount of computational power they have in proportion to other users. They demonstrate their ownership of this computational power by solving difficult mathematical problems. If one user can solve twice as many problems as another user, they have twice the computational power as other users and get twice as many fools. However, solving this mathematical problem is extremely energy intensive leading to complain the proof of work is not sustainable. Jordan, the energy consumption of proof of work. Another way to validate user is needed proof of stake is one some method in proof of stake. User validate their identities by demonstrating ownership of some asset on the blockchain. For example, in Bitcoin the word be ownership of Bitcoin and in Ethereum it ownership of Ether. So this does require user to temporarily temporarily lock their asset in the blockchain for a period of time it is far more efficient. Blockchain is requiring global energy expenditure by the company's estimation. Moving from proof of work to proof of state will reduce Ethereum's energy consumption by 99.95%. Ethereum's merge. This improved energy efficiency is why many blockchain systems intend to transition away from proof of work to proof of stake. Ethereum plans to make this change during the week of, of September 15, 2022. This is known as the merge. During this merge, operation will shift from being fought on using proof of work to being fought on use proof of stake as a completion and the merge only proof of stake will be used to fault. To vote on transaction, the hope is that we this will set up a term to be sustainable for the for foreseeable future. Other than only eligible people vote, and so only some blockchain system allow user to present a digital ID to prove their identity, enabling voting with negligible energy usage. However, in most blockchain system, user are anonymous and have no digital ID that can't that can prove their identity what then stops an individual from pretending pretending to be many individuals and casting many votes there are several different approaches but the most use is proof of work and proof of work is a good thoughts based on the amount of computational power they have in proportion to other users they demonstrate their ownership of this computational Power by solving difficult mathematical problems. If one user can solve twice as many problems as another user, they have twice the computational power as other user and get twice as many fools. However, solving this mathematical problem is extremely energy intensive, leading to complain the proof of work is not sustainable. Jordan, the energy consumption of proof of work. Another way to validate user is needed proof of stake is one some method in proof of stake. User validate their identities by demonstrating ownership of some asset on the blockchain. For example, in Bitcoin, the word be ownership of Bitcoin and in Ethereum, it ownership of Ether. So this does require user to temporarily, temporarily lock their asset in the blockchain for a period of time. It is far more efficient. 
Blockchain is requiring liberal energy expenditure by the company's estimation. Moving from proof of work to proof of stake will reduce Ethereum's energy consumption by 99.95%. Ethereum's merge. This improved energy efficiency is why many blockchain systems intend to transition away from proof of work to proof of stake. Ethereum plans to make this change during the week of, a, of September 15, 2022. This is known as the merge. During this merge, operation will shift from being fought on using proof of work to being fought on use proof of stake at the completion of the merge. Only proof of stake will be used to vote to vote on transaction. The hope is that we this will set up Ethereum to be sustainable for the for foreseeable future. Okay, maybe that's all from me. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Thank you.